you know like i said so many people today are so young they won't even remember this story but i remember it well jd was a big byline you were a big byline uh, you were both competing journalists and then you find yourself accused of actually uh, being complicit in a murder and as the headline say i was labeled a woman from the underworld a murderer and this is where hansel's series will take off but i want our audience to get a sense for what the seven years were like when everybody looked at you not as a successful journalist but as somebody who was linked to chota rajan and somebody who was responsible for killing one of your colleagues jigna yeah as you rightly said seven years were a uh, like a fight to get to justice as you will be uh, remembering the incident very well might was might as you must have covered also it became a national news for 3 to 4 months so the 7 years though 9 months in jail and later on the fight was to prove innocence there was a struggle day to day you have to you know visit the court and yeah so it was a tough uh, phase of life i guess so kaun khada hua aapke sath did people stand with you were you left all alone jigna Yes, my family stood by me rock solid. Other than that, I don't think so. Uh, anybody was there beside. It was just family, family, and family. And did that make you feel alone? Did it make you regret becoming a journalist? कभी आपने सोचा कि मैं आई क्यों इस profession में? क्योंकि वो story chase करते करते मैं story खुद बन गई. Yeah, maybe no. I didn't think basically on that lines. I'm a strong believer of karma. So yes, I kept on thinking in nine months in jail, probably that there has to be a bigger uh, picture than what it is now looking at. Maybe you don't know what is future in store, but there were lot of questions going on within myself, which till now also I've not got the answers. But I don't regret being a journalist. Yeah, so I want to start with Hansel before I come to Karishma and uh, Harman. Like I said, what is it with you and journalists? Do we do we supply you more interesting stories than your script writers do? What? No, but really, this is a compelling story. I'm actually amazed that someone didn't get uh, get to it earlier. But think of think of this because it's still a not fully told story. The charges against Jigna are dropped eventually, but we don't know. As she just said, we don't know all the answers even now. What drew you to the story, Hansel? you know what drew me to the story is uh, first of course the main theme which is a reporter becoming the reported you know i thought you know in today's times we are living in highly mediatized times and i saw in this the uh, the possibility of a cautionary tale for, you know for our times that we don't realize you know when the lines are crossed when the lines are blurred and when uh, the tables are turned you know and uh, we are blinded by the attention that we ha- uh, we uh, grab at this moment not realizing the collateral damage it can cause to uh, the person making those headlines so uh, i think uh, i think that was uh, initially what drew me to the story then i realized that there was a there was a potential to look at the story of uh, a, a human story of a woman who is a single mother who lives in mumbai you know a middle class woman in mumbai with middle class aspirations you know wants good education for her child wants uh, uh, a house to, a good a better house to live in you know uh, wants better working conditions wants her name uh, on those bylines that is what those I, i wanted to explore those aspirations and what uh, that hustle what those aspirations uh, ultimately led to you know today i mean uh, so many years after her she was acquitted in 2018 it's 5 years since the acquittal and uh, jigna wora finds herself without a job yeah Even now i i was just going to ask jigna that you know you you don't regret being a journalist but is there anyone giving you uh, is anybody giving you work so let me actually ask you that jigna kaam kaam mil raha hai people ready to maybe scoop will change you know will change your 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 perceptions in that way but do people still hesitate to employ you to publish you yes they they still feel somewhere down the line that uh, no we should not get close to her so yes yeah. i am being outcast by my own fraternity 
which is very which is which is unbelievable yeah I, and one thing hansel that strikes me is what you said about you know these these sort of media mediated reality that we live in uh, instant judgment instant heroism instant vilification hashtag #heroes bas abhi humne abhi faisla karna hai kaun acha hai kaun bura hai this is you know it's 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 dangerous it can be lethal for people who are at the receiving end of it hansel and that's what and that's that's the reason i tell this, uh, these stories because i think you know through these stories you are you know it's becoming a story that happened in 2011 has become a even more important cautionary tale for today and for the times to come you know i fear i mean the story somewhere comes out of those that fear that you know look at the times we are living in today and we don't realize you know that uh, the collateral damage it is causing to a entire ecosystem around you you know uh, yeah. uh, the the stumbling of uh, a pillar like journalism can uh, have such a damaging effect on democracy as a whole and i think through these stories you know all i can do is initiate uh, some level of conversation discourse debate uh, yeah. and maybe generate yeah. some kind sort of anger you know because there's so much is also you know deep rooted patriarchy I mean, you know, I did a screening for crime journalists, uh, uh, crime reporters, few days back, and uh, I was surprised. There were forty people, nearly forty people, in the screening room, and I saw only two to three. I could count two to three female uh, reporters in the entire room. It is so male dominated, and uh, you know, through the story, you are also exploring that 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 yeah. deep rooted patriarchy, that bias that people had. You know, her. perhaps the biggest crime was that she was a woman and yet she was getting those big stories yet she was a deputy bureau chief i was i was smiling when you said that because i think um you know i've of course never been to never been to jail like jigna never gone through the trauma that she has but ask any successful woman in media and my god the way you are resented for being ambitious for uh, for you know for achieving success for having a mind of your own uh, people uh, you know i think are literally waiting to take you down jigna my god and if they can take you down even a notch the delight the glee and you never see that uh, with men and you know i finally got to the age where i'm very uh, comfortable gendering my identity as a journalist because women have to work Oh my God! Five times more, and are judged ten times more harshly, even if we don't make the mistake. So I'm really glad, uh, Hansel, that you made that point about misogyny, 